Hi guys, how are you? This is Kamen Chen from Centimeter. Today we are going to talk about shipping and the shipping cost. Because recently I received different questions from my customers like uh, is the shipping cost is still like last year? Is the shipping cost is reduced now? Uh, because we really don't have any profit for the products I'm doing. I really totally understand this, uh, these two years for most of the sellers um, no matter it's Amazon sellers or the retail sellers, uh, for their profit margin is very low. Mainly is two reasons. The first reason is the raw material. The raw material was raising like crazy these two or three years. And also the second reason is the shipping cost. Because the shipping cost, as you remember, from 2019, before the COVID until now, uh, or even we compare to 2021, because at that time the cost is like for shipping is 10 times higher. Things that the shipping cost is too high, also for like the smaller uh, retail sellers or Amazon sellers, for them it's really, really um, not a good business opportunity or it's very small profit margin. And even for some of you that you were thinking about to start your own business, some of you will be uh, a little bit afraid or scared to start the business because of the shipping. And so now today we are going to talk about shipping. Uh, I'm going to make a timeline with from 2019 to 2022, these three years, like nearly three years, uh, what is um, changing what cost the, the, the shipping get higher. Uh, I remember that I talked about this topic before, but now I have a um, more clear mind of how it's happening, and how the shipping cost is going up and down during these years, and to, to analyze that, why the shipping cost now the reducing will stay for a while. I, I separate with three stages, like why the last three years that the shipping cost is going crazy and the first the first stage is from 2019 to 2020 the, the beginning of 2020 because it was the time uh china in china have the virus on the end of 2019 but actually from 2019 the shipping business for the for the carrier like the boating the the owner of the boats that for them the business was very very low like it was in the low turn of the shipping business and some of the carrier or we said that the owner of the boat boat company they already like retire some of the boats they reduce the the, the sailing schedule to reduce their cost to control a little bit their profit and also is to because like the supplies get slower so the demand the demands will be get higher so that they can keep a little bit control of the price because since 2019 before the COVID um, all the flight forwarders and the boating companies they have this kind of competition for example from China to USA to, to LA or to Long Beach for most of the price I will talk about I use the example from China to American because we have most of the shipment is to America. So from 2019, the, the, the business was not really good, so the price is quite low. And then the, one of the reasons caused that the, the carrier reduced the sailing schedule. And then since 2019, with the COVID outbreak, it was a very low point because we stop the production everybody in quarantine the people get panicked in china the production was very very low and then the exportation is going drop for 20 percent so during that dark area on the end of 2019 to beginning of 2020 and run about the beginning the first season uh, of 2020 uh, our the, the COVID situation in China got controlled and then the factories start production line, the people start to go to work. So everything is going back to kind of a normal situation. Just we need to have more restriction for the COVID situation. We need to put a mask, but everything is, uh, is quite fine. So at that time, the production uh, is getting back. And meanwhile, at that time is the time for the outbreak 
in uh, Europe, in America, in the other country outside China. So the second season to third season of 2020, that it was the outbreak of the Europe and American and Australian and all these other countries outside China. And at that time, China already started production. So at that time, it's, it's easy to imagine that at that time, the big demand from China export to the other country is really a big quantity. And even some of the factory, they start to ship out the goods that they have been delayed during the, the Chinese New Year on 2020, like during the COVID situation in China. So the exportation from China is like getting raised a lot. And, but at that time, the, you remember on 2019 was in the low turn of the business of the shipping company. So the shipping company at that time is not fast reaction to catch the, the high demanding of the, the needs from export from China. So at that time, the, the, the boat still not getting back yet. So we still have very limited boats, limited space and the limited sailing schedule. So at that time, the price is already start to raise from 2020. And from the 2020, the second season, the third season, when every, like the outside China, all the countries need the products from China, and the shipping company was slowly getting back some retirement boats or the boats that they decided to let it rest, like for the rest schedule, that they slowly get it back, but they get it slow because they lost a lot of money during the low season from 2019 to 2020 during the COVID time in China. So they want to earn the money back that what they lost before. So this is very important point. Like they slowly come back with the, the sailing schedule according to the demand, but they do it slow because they also want to high profit. So uh, in this way, they can have more profit and then to make up the, the loss they have for the last year and this is like the first stage what my understanding and the second stage is like since 2020 on the on the second season to the end uh, on the beginning of 2021 the mainly problem it was then the container because now the boat um, the the shipping company get back the boat uh, for the for the shipping so for the expectation from China to the other country was very busy at that time 2020 for the for the exportation for the production for the factories for the business in China is quite good but then the problem is at that 2020 it was the outbreak of the, the foreign countries uh, for us so at that time the like no matter Europe USA Australian or the other countries that they are uh, on the on the COVID outbreak. So most of the people work from home. So many productions from the other countries besides China that they already stopped. And also like the, the other like uh, production countries like the Indian, Cambodian, Indonesia, they also, uh, the production stopped because of the COVID. So they moved the production to China. So at that time, mainly, of the the country they will buy products from china because we were nearly the um, the only asian countries that here to produce goods and still the factories that are working hard and day to night at that time it's like 24 7 all the factories super busy to produce the things and for export to the other countries so this is one of the reason also with the the raising of exportation from china to the other country and then then it's very easy to understand when the the container is uh, is we are running out of containers if you did the shipping in the 2020 i think you can totally understand like at that time many factories is difficult very difficult to find a container uh, one of the reason uh, i think you should know like we have a lot of exportation from china to the other country for example to america and then when the container arrived in the US, uh, there is no other uh, production or like the, the goods to, normally for the shipping, we export, for example, to America and then America export to us. So the boat carry with the container full of goods to arrive in the USA 
and then after arrive in USA, they unload the goods and then they change to the products from USA and import it to China. And this is the normal uh, routine. But due to 2020, it's mainly 80% that is exportation from China. So we have full of goods in the container we ship to American, but there with the with the shipping company if if you stop and then you unload the goods you need the time and then you put the container and you wait for the to load the the goods from america and come back but at that time the the goods from the other country is only like the rate is like one if the goods from other country to back to china is only one and then from china export to the other country is three containers so with this is we lose the balance before so it costs like many many of the shipping company or the captain of the boat they drive the boat from uh, from china to the other country and then they load down the container they come back quickly and then get a second schedule that will be for them is more profitable then they just send the goods to american and then they uh, stop like a one week to Un unload upload the goods and then come back to China then it will be so if they go and they they uh, unload the container they come back empty boat and then they can put up full of the boat of container and go to America and come back with empty boat it's faster so the, they can have more business during the year then they need to go to the American and wait there for operation and everything and then wait for the container to roll on the boat and come back again so at that time for more more profitable way that um, the shipping company will come back mainly with like nearly the empty boat so that is cause that like, most of the container from china was all stuck in the other countries and then we are running out of containers even at that time the production already of containers is already very tough like i remember one year the production of the the container is like 1.82 million containers that the for for the production so the quantity is really big so um but even in this situation we were still running out of containers and because of that that cost also obviously the shipping cost is getting higher even to get a container is the problem like at that time the people is it's like gambling you put more money then you have the chance to get a container like for fly forwarders it was like really nightmare and the third state uh, it was mainly because of the pot contraction uh, it was since 2021 with the delta it's already appeared in most of the countries and at that time in Europe and America, many people start to home quarantine, work from home, and then it cause of the port, the container port is lack of workers. So there was no workers to handle all the upcoming containers, but the people when they stay home, they buy things online, they buy from China, they buy products, they buy the, the gym products to do sports at home. So uh, the, the demanding from the other country to Chinese products is very high but the problem is when the container arrive at the ports we need the workers to handle to operate to unload upload the to truck the container to the to the warehouse all this operation we need people but at that time it's lack of workers in the in Europe and in America it's totally lack of worker so then it cost that is very difficult for for the timing so due to the lack of workers the, um, the operation is very slow normally when one container arrived in port of la just need two or three days to operate like to unload the container upload a new container and then do all the paperwork and at that time with the huge port contraction the boat arrive on the the, the ferry but they on the pier they still need to wait like uh, two to three weeks until they can arrive on the terminal to do the loading the container so the um, the shipping company or the captains the boats they wait for they waste a lot of time sometimes even they wait for one month 
to wait until the boat can go unloading. So this is also caused the reduce of the sailing schedule. During the normal shipping time, if without the port contraction, uh, one boat maybe can run uh, five, 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 run five sails per year. But during the contraction, that the time, because they waste a lot of time to waiting in the terminal, that they only can run two times, uh, two sales per year. So this also costs then the spaces because mainly of the customers or the factories, they were worried they cannot get the spaces. So they get a booking very early, even for even half year earlier, like three, four months earlier for the booking. And then the spaces is really, really limited. And on 2021, the, the, the shipping the shipping price was crazy. I remember from 2019, 140 feet container from China to USA is like 4,000. But 2021, it raised like nearly get to, to uh, 20,000. So 20,000 USD for one contain, 140 feet container from China to US. It's really incredible high. So this is all the, uh, the many reasons that I in, in my idea or in my opinion that it caused the shipping price go high. So after we look back all the reasons during the COVID time with the crazy race increase of the, the, the shipping cost, then we go back to 2022. Why the shipping cost reduced now? But obviously now if we, if we try to think about the supplies and the demand with the balance, before with the COVID is the supplies was like the the lower than the demanding so the shipping cost is getting higher because demanding is huge and the supplies is limited so from 2022 with the Omicron most of the countries already start the normal line they took COVID as a flu uh, they don't have so strict rules for the for the COVID situation so Mainly of the countries already back to life, back to the normal life, go out for work, this kind of uh, situation. So now it's outside China, all those countries that they were needing a lot of production from China, now it's slowly back to production. So the needs of import products from China is already reduced. And also mainly of the, 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 the customers or the sailors, they are still have a lot of stocks uh, in the warehouse for the products from China. So the needs of Chinese products is getting less also. And also now the sailing schedule, everything is going back. Uh, then it's not this too much of the no spaces, no containers, all this cost of the, all these reasons that make the shipping cost uh, increase now it's getting back to normal so that's why that now this year the shipping cost is already reduced nearly half or even sometimes more than half it depends on the season so yeah this is like uh, i hope it's like a good news for you guys that you can even consider to start your new business or that you can try to reschedule your uh, your business plan for this year I hope this uh, this information is helpful for you and if you want to know something else if you want to know uh, any more information of shipping or sourcing uh, please don't hesitate to email me this is Carmen Chen from Centimeter see you next time